hello there welcome back to my channel mascara magic so today's video is the latest in beauty box and this is my picks for july 2020 i say it's my picks for july 2020 it's my first lot of picks if there's anything else throughout the month or towards the end of the month then i won't hesitate in getting a second box because a lot of people do that when there's some really good products on there sometimes like you know i just can't resist the temptation and i just can't say no but i am trying to be good so hopefully fingers crossed this might be my only box this month but if there's some like absolutely amazing products on there within the next two weeks i'll probably dip in and get a second one anyway so what's latest in beauty well if you watch my channel you'll know exactly what it is it's a beauty box where you choose your own products which is amazing because that way you know that everything you kind of choose you're gonna like hopefully because you chose them yourself right anyway you can get one of three different subscription plans with latest in beauty you can get three items for nine pounds six items for 15 pounds or nine items for 18 pounds now there's currently still the code floating around for the six item box which is a join offer 8384. Don't worry about remembering it. I will whack it in the description bar below. Basically, you can get the six item box half price still for £7.50, including postage. Absolutely fabulous. Like, absolutely amazing and definitely worth £7.50. So, I'll crack on and show you what I got. So, obviously, I went for the six item box and paid £7.50. Like I say, I can't say enough how amazing value it is, especially for the products that I managed to get this month. I went online in the middle of the night about a week ago, which is often when I do my kind of beauty picks when it comes to all these things. And that tends to be when they put some really decent products on. It tends to be like two or three o'clock in the morning. And then by the time people get up at a normal hour, at a reasonable hour, that isn't stupid old clock in the middle of the night, like this vampire right here. Um, sadly, a few of the products sometimes are no longer available. But they do keep kind of alternating the products, which is a good thing. So you'll often see one or two products appear and one or two disappear. That is what normally happens. But they will always have a constant product which is called a Hall of Fame product where it's available for everybody and there's going to be plenty there to be had. They'll never run out for the one month each month with the do with the Hall of Fame product. So I'll show you what I got this month because I'm nearly three minutes in and I still haven't shown you anything. That is terrible. <laughs> so this is the box this month and it's called Beauty Headliners Edit. The box is fab because it's fully recyclable so you can just whack it in your recycling bin or if you like to keep these boxes they're good to send parcels off to people and um, you know just if you want to keep it for that, those reasons so anyway i'll show you what i got the first product i got is the hall of fame product and it's by oskia london it's a renaissance cleansing gel it's travel size it's 35 mils which is still a really good size it'll definitely give you a good idea of whether you like the product because there's enough there to use for a good couple of weeks at least, depending on how much you like to use product wise. So I've had this product before and I'll be honest with you, I think I got it in a Look Fantastic box. It must have been last year and I did really like it, although I only used it once or twice. The packaging's just really neat, really simple, really plain. And if I remember rightly, it smells like Turkish Delight. I'm just going to unscrew it and have a little sniff. There's no seal on it. Mm, it does smell like Turkish Delight. It smells like rose and lemon Turkish Delight. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out, actually. Yeah, it's like a pale peach colour, like a pinky peach colour. And I remember exactly what it's like now. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so, so nice. So basically, what do you do with a cleansing gel? Right, well, you apply it to dry skin and you rub it in until it goes to like an oil which it does it does go like quite oily then you add a bit of water to slightly emulsify the solution and then you rinse it off with warm water and or a muslin damp cloth you know so that is basically what you do with that product like i say i've had it once before and i did like it um but then i lost it i misplaced it and then i found it again and then I misplaced it again, so I'm pretty sure it must have went in the bin. 
but yeah basically the moral of the story don't have too many beauty and skincare products like me because you lose track of what you've got and where you've put them anyway oh smells really really nice and i'm definitely looking forward to trying that out because i don't remember what it was like when i tried it the first time around so it'll be interesting to see what i think of it this time so that alone must be worth about 10 pounds or more maybe 15 pounds but that is a complete stab in the dark because I haven't got a clue how much it's worth. The next product is something that I can use in conjunction with that. And it's by OM Skincare. Never heard of them. And it's a Cleanse and Glow Cognac Sponge. And it's made from vegetable fibres. Which is really quite cool. I love the packaging on it as well. Even though it's just plastic packaging. And let's face it, it will go in the bin. I just thought it was really, really cool and really useful. So what's a cognac sponge? Well, it's a rock hard sponge for a start. <laughs> Basically, it's like an exfoliating sponge for the face. So it helps remove kind of dead skin cells from the face, clogged pores, that type of thing. So it helps prevent future breakouts and declogs the pores in your face. You can use it on its own with warm water or you can use it with a cleansing gel or a cleansing foam or any type of cream type cleanser. Now, I have had one of these in the past, completely different brand, and I thought it was okay, but it's something that I kind of kept forgetting to use because I don't often exfoliate my face and it's something that I really need to start reintroducing into my skincare regime because it is something that is definitely what I would personally call quite essential when you get to my kind of age bracket, which is late 30s. But anyway, yeah, a cognac sponge for exfoliating the face, really nice stuff. This is probably worth about six or seven pounds, but that's a complete guess. So usage wise, I would say if you've got sensitive skin, to only use a product like this maybe twice a week. If you've got normal skin, I would say you can use it most days. But I still would personally just recommend using it a couple of times a week because I don't think it's good to kind of scrub your face quite vigorously with any kind of like exfoliating pads more than two or three times a week. That's just my opinion. Opinions are like, you know, everybody's got one basically. So the next product is by Skimono Skincare. Absolutely love this brand. And it's the little foot serum socky things. So I got one of these last month, was it, or the month before, and it wasn't for me. It was to go in my mum's beauty hamper for her birthday next month. I'm pointing over there because it's literally sat over there. I haven't built it up yet. It's just all the products are inside a box at the moment, and it includes one of these. So what are they? Like I say, they're a nourishing conditioning mask for the feet. Now apparently they're really nice and they're worth £10. So this one product alone is worth more than I've paid for the box. It's just like amazing. The value for money that I've got within this box, I'm blown over by. It's got to be worth at least £75 for £7.50. Absolute no-brainer. Anyway, so this product I'm going to keep for myself. I really do need to give my feet a little bit more TLC than I currently do. I do paint my toenails and they always look fairly pretty. However, my actual feet on the bottoms of them could use a little bit of nourishing kind of TLC. That's the best way I can put it. So yeah, I'm going to keep these for myself and I fully intend on having a nice pamper session at the weekend using these. So I'll have to let you know what they're like in my next empties video. So that is the third product. The fourth product is something I've also currently had in a previous box. This is a hair building fibre product by Topic. It's in the shade dark brown. It's literally the only one that they have on the site in, in dark brown. I wish they had medium brown, but they only have dark brown. So what is it? Well, first of all, I'll show you it, just in case you didn't watch my last video. Basically, it makes your hair appear thicker and fuller from the root. Now, it's not just men that suffer with hair thinning or bald patches. Women do as well. Now, I don't have any bald patches, but I have got quite fine hair. And I've always been quite self-conscious of my hair being quite fine on my scalp area. So I thought, you know what? The last one that I got of these, I did get just to try on my husband's hair because I was completely intrigued to see if it actually did what it said on the tin. And it really did. Like, if I could, if I could work the technology on this camera... 
I would put a little picture up showing you the before and after pictures of my husband's hair, like on the top of his hair. It was amazing. So then I tried it on my hair last week, just literally on the roots of my hair, and it was actually okay. It wasn't bad. It didn't make my hair thick and full all over, but it definitely thickened the roots up a little bit. So I thought, you know what? It's not really quite my colour. It's a little bit dark, but it did the job. It did the job. It made me feel just that little bit more confident within myself. Even though my husband said he couldn't really tell any difference with my hair, I could tell difference. And I'm a hairdresser, so I'm allowed to say that. And I think my, my opinion and my point of view is a little bit more valid than a man's. But anyway, so yeah, I had to get another one of these. Price-wise, I believe these are worth about £40. Literally, you know, it varies from site to site. I've seen them for less and I've seen them for more. But I had to get another one because I thought, you know what? If I actually come to use this fairly often, at least I've got another one to fall back on and use. So, yeah, I was struggling to find products to pick for my sixth pick. So this was my final pick within the box. I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get another one because I actually thought it was really quite decent. So the fifth product is absolutely amazing. I was shocked to see this on there. But bearing in mind, like I said, I'm a bit of a vampire. I'm awake in the middle of the night. I'm completely nocturnal. 3 a.m. I naturally wake up or if not sooner than that. And I'm awake for a good few hours. Anyway, so this product I found in the middle of the night. And it is an Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. So this is the original 8 hour cream. It's a product I've never had before, but I do like the brand Elizabeth Arden. They've been around for a long time now, and I do like the little serum that they do, the Renewal Booster. I think it's called Super Start. Now I've never tried the 8 hour cream, and I honestly got it because I thought it was a face cream, like a moisturiser. But after reading up on, the, on it a little bit, like just to see what it does and how you're supposed to use it. Turns out it looks like it's a bit more of a Dr. Pawpaws type kind of cream, which, yeah, so basically you can use it on chapped lips, dry hands, cracked skin, burnt skin. You can use it to revitalise shine on your face. You can use it to tame your eyebrows if they're a little bit wild. And yeah, basically it's like a multi-purpose cream. Size-wise, this is amazing. It's 50 millilitres. Like, I wasn't expecting to see this on there. I honestly thought they'd done a typo and I thought I was going to get 5 millilitres when I got it. Because this product alone is worth £28, I believe. Or at least that's what I've seen it for online. So if anybody else has used this Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, please tell me in the comments what you thought of it and what you actually use it for. Because I'm dubious, I'm in two minds whether to keep this because I haven't opened it completely brand new unopened i'm in two minds whether to keep it or not because i've got a couple of tubes of dr popo so i might not need another one of a similar kind of product but i might put it in my mum's beauty hamper because she likes to use cuticle creams and things like that so i might pop it in there but please let us know if you've used this and what your thoughts are on this product i was amazed to get it though because an hour later this had disappeared Probably because they only had a handful to give away and then, yeah, they might pop it back on. So my advice to anybody is keep your eyes peeled on the products because they do change one or two every single day and they often do it in the middle of the night. Don't know why it does that, but they often do and it's beneficial to me because I'm often awake, but to most people it wouldn't be beneficial. So just keep your eyes peeled on the products. The final product to me is probably the most amazing product in this box. So basically it's by Neil's Yard. If anybody's heard of Neil's Yard, then you'll know it's a really good brand. It's an expensive brand. And this is the Wild Rose Beauty Balm. And it's a really good size little pot. It's a navy blue glass jar, like a little glass pot. And it's so, so cute. I have been dying to try this out. I've seen the samples on the Feel Unique site, but you only get one or two millilitres in a little sachet. And as soon as I saw this, like literally a week ago online, in the middle of the night, like I say, that's when I did this, along with the Elizabeth Arden product, I saw this and I was like, click straight away, because I really wanted to try it out. 
Now, the rose scent for a lot of people is a bit like Marmite. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I personally don't mind it. As long as it's not too old lady like smelling, which it's not. <laughs> it smells so nice. It just smells really herbal. So it looks like a Vaseline and I haven't even tried this out yet. But I'm just going to dip my finger in it. Oh, that feels really nice. Feels really silky. Oh, anyway, I'm just going to pop that on the back of my hand. So I did wonder what you use this for because it's just called a beauty balm. Well, I basically had to Google it to kind of find out. So I'm just going to read out what it actually says about the product. So you can use it with a muslin cloth to gently exfoliate to give a radiance boost. You can leave it on for 30 minutes or you can leave it on overnight for an extra nourishing boost. You can use it to tame the eyebrows. You can use it to highlight your cheekbones and you can even use it to give your lips a beautiful sheen. So a bit like a lip balm type product. So again, this is a bit like a multi-purpose balm. It reminds me of Dr. Popo, except it looks so much cuter and it smells nice because Dr. Popo is fragrance free. Oh, that smells lovely. The chances are I will probably use this product just on my lips because I do suffer with dry lips pretty much all year round but it's just so, so cute. So I don't think I'm gonna be needing a lip balm for quite a while, because I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna use this product for. Size-wise, it's amazing. I believe it's 15 grams. Yep, 15 grams. Absolutely thrilled that I managed to get this. But like I say, one hour later, the Elizabeth Arden Cream and the Neil's Yard Wild Rose Balm had gone. It had completely vanished, because they probably only had a few of them to actually give away at the moment. Anyway, that is everything I got in this six item latest in beauty box. Absolutely thrilled with the products, like so, so thrilled. For £7.50, wow, absolutely wow. The Neil's Yard Wild Rose Beauty Balm alone is worth £20 for this size. You can't be robbed. You absolutely couldn't be robbed. So just to recap over the products, I got the Neil's Yard Wild Rose Beauty Balm. I got the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, which is like a multi-purpose balm cream. I got the Topic Dark Brown, um, what was I going to say there? I was going to say multi-purpose. Got the word multi-purpose in the brain. I got the Topic Hair Building Fibres in shade Dark Brown, which like I say, really nice product. I got the Skimono Feet Masks. Really, really cool, really different. I got the Hall of Fame product, which is the Oskia London Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Seriously, some of these words are so long, I often get tongue-tied, so just forgive the fluffs. And finally, the OM Skincare Cognac Sponge, which I'm really looking forward to trying that out with the cleansing gel. And I'll have to let you know what it's like in probably one of my next empties videos within the next month or two, which is probably when this will go in it. So, do I recommend it for £7.50 for six items? Hell yes, I recommend it, especially if you can get some really decent products. But when it comes to prices of products, don't let kind of that sway you with anything. Only get products that you personally would really like to try. Doesn't matter whether it's worth £3 or £30. If you want to try a product, that is the most important thing. And that's what's good about this box you get what you like and what you think you're going to use. So that pretty much wraps up my video for today. This is so much longer than I intended it to be, so I'm so sorry about that. I was going to start telling you about some products I'd used today, but I think I'll keep that for my next video. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to go, but I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed to my channel. I don't often say thank you for being subscribed, but I'm very, very appreciative of anybody who has clicked that subscribe button. So yeah, stay tuned for my next video. And until then, take care and toodaloo for now.